Hi, my name is Nana and welcome to my channel, A Puzzling Lamb. So, as you probably saw from the title of this video, this whole video is all about the puzzles I acquired in both July and August. So, I was actually really good in July and almost didn't buy any puzzles and in August a lot of the puzzles I bought were actually second hand. But first let's take a look at all the new puzzles I bought. And the first puzzles I bought were actually while I, I was on a hiking vacation. And I'm on hi hiking vacation every summer and we always end the vacation with visiting an amusement park, Jurs Summerland. And they actually had puzzles there. So the first ones are these 250 piece puzzles from the Danish brand. I hadn't heard of this brand before, but it's called Nature Planet. They sell all kinds of things, not just puzzles, but they have a whole series of these 150 piece puzzles. And in Just Summerland, they had these two. So there's this, you can see the entire image on the back, this underwater scene, and then this sorry <laughs> this forest scene so i think these are really cute i haven't done them yet so i can't speak about the quality but i like small 150 piece puzzles sometimes sometimes and these were really cute and then for some even smaller puzzles i also bought these at Jo summerland they actually had mini curiosi puzzles and these were 50 percent off so it was a real bargain and I got four so first this this butterfly then these salamanders and I believe these puzzles are about 33 pieces so it's really tiny puzzles this peacock and the last one this Ladybird. So if you want to hear more about this brand, I actually have a whole video where I review this brand, where I do three of their puzzles. So go check that out. I really, really love Koryosi puzzles. The next four are some that I bought also while on vacation. Another vacation, a small weekend vacation. I found a shop that actually had a really decent selection of puzzles and I bought four and the first one is this Christmas puzzle of course I had to buy a Christmas puzzle at summertime but it's really really cute and this brand I have never seen this puzzle before and it's not a brand as such as far as I understand it's actually the artist Alison Gardiner probably but probably pronouncing that wrong but as far as I understand it's the artist who have gotten these puzzles produced or this puzzle I don't know if she has more uh, but I couldn't not buy this puzzle so cute and then they also had a small selection of Travel puzzles so I bought this one which is this beautiful greenhouse and I also I've talked I believe a little about travel puzzles in another of my whole videos uh, this is only my second of the thousand piece puzzles but I really 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 love the quality of these puzzles then I bought two pomegranate puzzles and the first one is this 500 piece one and this is a little different than what I would normally buy, more classic painting, but with these bears and the butterflies. And I just thought that this is just equally cute and beautiful and it might be a bit difficult with all the green, but it's only 500 pieces, so I'm not too worried. But I also bought a thousand piece pomegranate puzzle this one with all these classic 
book covers. Let's see. And I really like collage images like this one. And I'm also a huge book fan. I'm not reading as much as I used to do. Puzzles have kind of taken over, but I'm, I still really, really like books. And I really like these old type illustrations. And I'm actually thinking about doing a video about pomegranate puzzles. Because now I have a 500 piece pomegranate puzzle. I have this 300 piece pomegranate puzzle I haven't done before. And I have a few thousand piece puzzles and this thousand piece puzzles I haven't done yet. So I thought I might do a video where I compared a thousand piece, a 500 piece and a 300 piece puzzle from pomegranate. Because in my experience with some brands there can be quite a bit of quality differences between the different piece sizes. So I thought it'd be fun to make a video comparing three different piece sizes, uh, piece counts from the same brand. So let me know in the comments if that's a video you'd like to see. And then the last new puzzle I bought these two months is this one. And I actually don't quite remember where I bought it. I think it was just someplace online, but it's this really cute Moomin puzzle with the Moomin house. And I have actually done this puzzle. There's nothing in this. I haven't taken the puzzle apart yet. And I really liked this image. It's, you know, it's Moomin. It's super cute, <laughs> but it's also, it has um, a lot of different distinct sections to sort out but still in each section, all this green, uh, there were a few pieces left at the end that were uh, completely solid colored, but there were actually a lot that weren't because there are all these details and the same here with the blue. And so it was really fun to put together. And this is the second time I try this brand. I have done another, uh, which was a puzzle I found secondhand. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality. It's not the best quality, not at all. The pieces are on the thin side, but these are really cheap puzzles. Uh, they're not super easy to find in Denmark, but they're really cheap. So for the price, this is really great quality. And with that puzzle, there are only puzzles left that I got secondhand. The first stack of secondhand puzzles I want to show you are all from the Danish brand OnePlay and it's a bit of a weird brand. They, are, they don't plaster the brand name all over their puzzles. They have some different collections of puzzles and they're all very different. They're all different quality, different boxes, different designs. It's one of those brands where you could have a ton of their puzzles without actually knowing they were all from the same brand. But the first two are from the collection they have they call to-go puzzles. So it's these small 300 piece puzzles. You can see the whole image here. So these puzzles, I have a few of them already. You can see the other one here. And the quality isn't great. They are Ah, a lot of false fits. Um, I wouldn't buy these puzzles at full price, but I have gotten a few as gifts and these second hand and they are really cute and it's nice to have 300 piece puzzles you can do quickly. But again, not the best quality. And then from the same brand, but as you can see, completely different type of box and design of the, on the box. But it's this 500 piece shaped puzzle. I haven't done this one yet, so I don't know how the quality is, but I can see that I can show you here the pieces. Uh, perhaps I can show you here. The pieces are actually really, really tiny. This is not easy without losing all. So you can see the person who gave this, uh, who donated this puzzle, put the pieces in a bag but didn't close the bag. So all the pieces, a lot of the pieces, are just floating around in the box. But as you can perhaps see, the pieces 
a really small and clearly a completely different type of quality than the other puzzles. But the quality actually does seem pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. And now I can't close the box. I'll fix that later. And then again from the same brand. And as you can see, completely different box. But it's this round 500 piece puzzle from this collection they call Mindful. So you can see the whole image here. And I have done a few puzzles from this collection. They have also a collection that's just called Relax, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's called Relax. And those are very much like these, like this one. But uh, these actually have pretty good quality. Um, I do believe this is going to be quite difficult, even only, uh, even for only 500 pieces. But as you can see, it's very much the same colors all through the puzzle. So, but it's beautiful and still only 500 pieces. I think it'll be pretty doable. And the next puzzle is also pretty low piece count, 160 pieces. But it's just super cute with this Finding Nemo. And I actually don't have very many Disney and or Pixar puzzles. Uh, I like Disney. I just think a lot of the puzzles can be, I kind of want to say childish in the illustrations. So it's more like they just took images from the movies and copy pasted and uh, photoshopped together. But this is actually a, I don't know what to call it, unique piece of art. It's not the art style that's in the movie, but it's really, really cute. Looking forward for, to this one. And then there's this 500 piece puzzle. Super cute. I haven't seen this one before. It's of, I'm just now <laughs> thinking I don't know what this book is called in English. It's called Brødrene Løvehjerte uh, in Danish. Directly translated, that's the brother's Lionheart. The brother Lionheart, I don't know. But it's um, from a book by Astrid Lindgren. And I think this is really cool because it's uh, this Lionheart image. But it's also in itself a really pretty image. So... Really happy to find this one. I haven't seen it before, but you can see there are actually more puzzles in the same series, also with images from Estro Lindgren's world. So, and I would actually love to have all of those. But now I have this one, and I'm really happy about that. And the next one, also a small piece count, 150 pieces. This shape puzzle of a lion from Jeko and Jeko they have I have a few of their puzzles uh, a thousand piece puzzles for adults I haven't done them yet actually I've had it for a long time haven't done them yet but Jeko makes really beautiful puzzles and especially kids puzzles there are so many of their kids puzzles I'd love if they made in a higher piece count but it's also nice with these small piece counts sometimes, and this one is really, really beautiful. Then the next one, again, small piece count, and one I had never seen before. So you can see the entire image here, if I can line it up. So this parcel I can see is one that have been sold at a museum, and it's a painting by the artist Franziska Clausen and it's the box is coming apart now the pieces are just loose in the box um, it's a very special different type of image uh, and I'm actually I like it but I'm also glad that it's not a thousand pieces I'm not sure I would have bought it if it were a thousand pieces but with this 260 piece count I think it will be quite fun to put together and different than other things I have. And the next one, 
I think might perhaps be the favorite one in th my favorite one in this haul and it's this Smith puzzle and I don't know how many people around the world knows about this but I haven't seen this puzzle before but this image this drawing is from a sketch film mini film sketch that in Denmark is shown every New Year's Eve right before midnight it's called um, in English I think you'd call it the 90 years year birthday but it's a really funny sketch and uh, it's shown every New Year's Eve and I think for a lot of families in Denmark it's tradition to watch this sketch on TV right before midnight. I've done it my whole life so when I saw this puzzle I had to buy it and I'm not sure it's going to be fun to put together. Uh, I don't know when I'll put it together but the collect on me had to have it. So from this almost black and white puzzle I'm not sure I'm actually looking forward to putting together to this black and white puzzle I'm not sure I'm looking forward to putting together but just look how beautiful it is so it's this close-up of a feather and it's from the brand Design Room I've never heard of it and I tried googling a bit and actually really can't find anything about this brand or any other puzzles by this brand so I don't know quite know what the deal is with this puzzle but I think it's really beautiful as I said I'm not sure I'm looking forward to putting it together it's a thousand pieces I don't know perhaps it's not going to be quite as difficult as you'd first expect because this you could easily sort out and then there is a lot of texture you know this is quite distinct from this and so on it's almost like a gradient actually but still I think it's going to be difficult but one of the reasons I bought it is also that I do want to put it together someday and I actually think this is one that I will frame and hang on my wall. I just think it's really, really beautiful in such a simplistic way, if you'd call it that. But yes, this was actually the last puzzle of this haul. So I actually think that I did pretty good these two months uh, and also pretty amazing that such a huge part of this haul was puzzles I bought secondhand. I've talked about it before. Uh, I find it quite difficult to find puzzles I'm interested in secondhand, but it's just amazing how many I found these two months. So once again, as always, if there are any of these puzzles you'd like to see a video about, please let me know in the comments. And especially let me know if you think you'd like to see that video about pomegranate puzzles I talked about. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.